Tutorial. Hello and welcome to the new video. Today on the menu Asus X540, we are going to change thermal paste and to upgrade it with a 512 GB SSD. For this operation you need screwdriver, thermal paste, toothbrush and you need this thing or some kind of not used anymore credit card or something like that to just to, to, to open a laptop. And isopropyl for cleaning CPU. Alright, let's start with the video. Now like, share, subscribe, donor box and go. Okay, let's first unpack. Unboxing of the Lexa SSD. Ooh. This looks nice. Matte surface. Looks good. All right. Now what you want to do is to open laptop. Use that credit card or something like this. Just poke it in one of the corners and easily go around the plastic. All right, so it's done. Now you need to be very careful because you have touchpad in here and you have keyboard in here so unbracket and pull it out and you successfully removed top part now let's turn around this laptop we are going to unscrew all of this disassemble the motherboard and change thermal paste first let's disconnect fan be careful with this. All right, that's for the pan. Now for the wireless. Also very carefully. These are speakers. Speakers. Now remove Alright, when you unscrew these two screws, you want to pull out HDD and after that CD drive. Just be careful, something is stuck in here. Alright, there it is, CD drive. Now we have a lot of screws on the motherboard. Let's start. Okay, now remove display cable. Uh, when you do this, you should remove battery. I know that nothing is going to happen with this board. because I take care of all parts and I know what I can I touch and what I can't. All right, and we have one more screw in here. Now let's remove battery. It is always glued under this so be very careful with it and lift it up so you have successfully removed battery now motherboard easily lift it up and 
That's it. You see this blanket. Be sure to remove that or air could not cool the processor. All right, now let's clean motherboard and change thermal paste. So there is no a lot of dust in here. You have two screws on the heatsink. One and two. Lift it up. And as you can see, more dust. Now we want to clean it, right? So take your toothbrush and clean the processor and clean the CPU. All right, since we are here, we are going to change thermal paste also on the GPU. Lift it up and clean the paste. All right, now let's clean heat sinks. So, wool or cotton, whatever you want to call it, isopropyl. All right, now let's use some more isopropyl to clean CPU and GPU. All right, we are good. Now let's take thermal compound. We want a tiny green on the CPU. And on the GPU. And that will be enough. For the GPU. CPU hit sync, so this needs to go on the CPU. And you have finished with changing thermal paste on the motherboard. There is not a lot of dust. That is why it is important to clean your laptop occasionally, at least on a one year period. All right, we need a vacuum cleaner. All right, we are done with the vacuum cleaner. Now let's take a little bit of wool and isopropyl. Now let's put SSD inside. So unscrew these four screws. Remember the position. Put it like that and put it and put the SSD. Simple as that. All right, and you have successfully mounted SSD. All right, so let's put the motherboard in. What you want to do right now is to make sure that all connectors are free. So take the motherboard, first put IO part, so this part and easily 
put it in here. Be sure that every part is on its place. You will know that by this place for screws are matched together with a motherboard. All right. First, let's put the screws back in and after that we are going to put connectors. So. The marks on the motherboard shows you where you need to put screws. Now let's connect fan. speakers, display, it is there, now let's put Wi-Fi card inside, so just press it screwdriver and screw it in. All right, now connect antenna that it is on its place. Hide the cable in here. DVD drive. Oh yeah. Oh, that's it. That's DVD, now SSD, it goes like this, just put it down and close it. Now we need some screws, let's secure CD drive. All right, now let's put battery back in its place let's just clean it a bit let's put it inside and battery is in yay <clears throat> okay we finished with the bottom part now let's take care of the top part with the keyboard keyboard and the top part Okay, good. This is a little bit tricky for me when I'm showing you this. I would do this with a laptop laying down, but there is no other way to show you. All right, so you have seen, you need to line this line with a connector. And now uh, the touchpad, just unbrack it. And close the bracket. Yeah, that's it. Now turn around laptop and press it. You need to hear those clicks. And when everything is aligned, you can close this, check it out, so everything is aligned and now put the screws back to its place. Alright, now let's clean the back side. Okay. 
Now let's check if it boots up. So press. All right, and there it is. Reboot and select proper boot device. Or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key. So I have to install Windows on this and the job after that is done. All right, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, share this video with your friends, subscribe on the channel if you have enjoyed in the video and if you want to donate there is a dollar box link down there in the description. Until the next time, goodbye.